Hey everyone, it's Dan again with another exposed sneak peek into what we're working on for the future. This one's a bit of a blast from the past. If you're a current or previous owner of On One Photo Raw or our previous products, you probably remember the blur and the chisel mask tool. They're used for cleaning up the edge of a mask. Well, now we're bringing those back into the non-destructive editing world and we're putting them into effects. So they're going to live over here in the tool well. You see there's the blur mask, there's the chisel mask tool, along with the refine mask. Those kind of make up the three refined mask tools. Now, I'm here in effects for my example. I'm just going to add a texture. Take a look at this. It's a sky. I'm just going to paint the sky in real fast. I'm just going to use the perfect brush. Let me make my brush a little bit bigger here. My mode is set to paint in. I don't need a feather so large. And I'm just going to start to paint this guy in here real fast. You notice how along the edges it automatically detects those edges and paints this away. Let me get in here around the tree a little bit. There we go. Now that's a pretty good start, but let's take a look over here on the dark edges. If I zoom in and pan over here to the left edge along the shadow, you can see how there's just a tiny little bit of a halo left over from the sky. This is a perfect place to use the chisel tool. So we're just going to grab the chisel tool and we're going to run it along the edge. The chisel tool works by either nudging the edge of the mask in or out a little bit. So watch as I just run that tool along the edge, it's going to remove that halo by pushing the edge of the mask in a little bit. I'm just going to undo that and I'll show you what it looks like in the mask. Here we are in the mask mode. Now watch as I brush along there, you see how it's just pushing the edge of the mask in just a little bit so that a little bit more of the background gets revealed. Now the sister to the chisel tool is the blur tool. The blur tool, rather than moving the edge, will soften or blur the edge a little bit. The blur mask tool can be used to simply soften an edge or you can actually use it at a large amount to feather an entire larger section of a mask to really locally blur the mask as well. Let me show you. If I just run this right here along the edge, it's just going to blur the edge just a little bit. Let me undo that and I'll do that at a little higher amount so it's more obvious for you to watch. So you can see as I run that along there, it's blurring the edge. Now, there's a couple different modes for the blur mask tool. Right now, I have it set to the add mode. In add mode, it's going to allow the white part of the mask to bleed into the dark part. I'm, I'm adding back in. I can also, let me undo that, switch over to remove instead. When I paint in remove, it's going to do the opposite. It's going to take the dark edge, and the dark edge is going to bleed into the white areas of the mask, like that. And this effectively feathers the opposite direction, or if I use the normal option, it'll actually feather down both sides. It'll blur equally along the mask and not maintain that hard edge. So it kind of depends on your situation as to which one is the best to use. The blur mask tool is really handy along an edge that you want to naturally blend in. Especially when you're masking together things that may not be in a 100% crisp focus. Here's a great example. I'm just going to use it in this case in the add mode just to soften the edge just a little bit after I run the chisel along it. On both these tools, you can double click on their icons in the tool well, and it'll apply it to the entire image. Now keep in mind that only applies to the edge, so nothing on the inside or the outside of the mask is gonna get hurt. It's just gonna soften or push the edge around a little bit. All right, there you go. Welcome back to the Blur and Chisel tool. Thanks for watching.